Hello Wastelanders, Vlad here and today I'm going to show you how to build your own pit barbecue in your wasteland camp. So let's jump on in. We'll start today's build by putting out some of the stuff we're going to need for the build. It's pretty simple, uh, don't have a lot of things that we need, but we're going to use this modern fireplace and then we're going to put out three of the winter fireplace and um, we're going to use these for the structure and for a smokestack and then we're going to use a pressure plate in the build and then we're also going to use this wooden stove and then to round things off we're going to grab this cooking stove this Camden Park cooking stove now I'm going to build everything on this foundation that I just placed and I'm going to start off with one of the uh, fireplaces and we're going to turn it to where the fireplace is facing the inside of the foundation and then we're going to grab our modern fireplace and we're going to stack that on top and we want it to bounce and hang over the edge of this and then we're going to move it towards the back uh, so that our smokestack is in the back of our fire pit our, our, our pit barbecue when we're finished and uh, you can line things up be careful not to push it too far back uh, because it will hang out the back because we're about to merge it. So stack everything on top of your pressure plate and then just keep going and placing. I'll speed this up so we're not here all day. But keep merging the item into the fireplace until you reach about the top where it hits the round pipe. We want to hide all of the actual fire pit uh, down below the level of the fireplace. Now we're going to grab our Camden Park cooking station and then we're going to go find a rug. Uh, we're going to place it on the rug because we're going to merge this with another one of those fireplaces and by putting it on the rug it's going to allow us to hang it over the edge of it without telling us that the object is floating and it can't be placed. So uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, once you place it on top of your rug, make sure you can move the rug and the cooking station at the same time. And I'm going to move this so that I have a little bit more space and room to touch that rug and move it around. Uh, we're still good as far as it moving together, so we will grab our fireplace. Now make sure we turn this to where the fireplace is again facing the inside of the um, foundation. And then we're going to grab the rug. And we're going to place this on top of our fireplace. And we want the edge to hang over so that this cooking station is still usable once we merge it into this uh, fireplace. And it should look something like that. Once you're happy with the placement, that it's not at an angle, and then we're going to pick it up and we're going to merge it. I do like merging this one from the side because then you don't end up hitting that uh, cooking station and trying to move it instead of the fireplace. And we'll find a place to put this down. And now we need to start building our pit. And we're going to grab the first one that we put together with the merged modern fireplace and place it down. I'm using the center of this foundation as a guide and we're gonna get out our trusty flamethrower and we're going to destroy this fireplace. Notice that once we destroy the fireplace that fire pit is no longer showing and that's going to allow us to grab this fireplace and put it right next to it. Uh, line up the bricks to where they are touching face to face. The fireplace that is uh, part of this object are touching each other in the center so they are not showing on the outside of the build. We'll go ahead and get the alignment just perfect on these. Awesome. Now we're going to grab our trusty flamethrower again and we are going to destroy this one. And again, we want to destroy the fireplace, not necessarily the crafting station that we have merged with it because when we destroy it, it disappears. And we're going to grab our last fireplace and we're going to use it as the front of our pit and we're going to kind of line it up with these. Oh wow, <laughs> I can't believe I got it this perfect on the first placement. Uh, but check your alignment, get it lined up with the front edge of both of these destroyed fire pits. And since they're destroyed, it's gonna let you get it closer than if they were repaired. 
And before we repair things, let's go ahead and grab this wooden stove. Now this wood stove is a bit special. You can actually merge it with this fireplace. Uh, no questions asked, no need to use a drop or anything like that. We're just going to place it in the front center of this front capstone fireplace. And then we can repair our broken fireplaces and we're going to end up with our end barbecue pit is ready to go it is functional and you can put this in your camp now a quick word from today's sponsor gather around for a story that's rare about the best steak you'll find anywhere it's thick and juicy and cooked just so from the steak pit known as angelo's angelo's steak pit angelo's steak pit come on down to angelo's where we have the wasteland's best choice of prime meat so good we sent the general into retreat Right back home to his mama. Angelo Steak Pit. Angelo Steak Pit. Near the White Springs Bridge on hole number eight, Vlad's waiting with a big old steak. Come plenty hungry because you're going to be full. You won't get a bomb steer here. And that's no bull. Angelo Steak Pit. Angelo Steak Pit. That's it for today's video, everybody. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest content from Vlad Administrator Gaming. Until next time, I'll see you in the wasteland.